We are a few weeks away now from the first Love and Life Music Festival. It's expected to bring tens of thousands into Uptown. Yeah, but as it gets closer, we have gotten several emails from people out there, concerned viewers who say they're worried about the lack of free water availability. So our Jesse Pierre took those concerns to organizers who say they making their uh, they are making some new recommendations and accommodations now. Yes, they are now staying hydrated is a big part of being safe at an outdoor concert. Now, while ticket holders tell me they are excited about the festival, they also tell me that they're worried about folks passing out or getting sick because they're not drinking enough water. And if the only way to get water is by buying it, that makes the situation worse. Well, organizers are listening and making some changes to help folks stay hydrated. In just a few weeks, the first Love and Life Music Festival will take over Uptown's first ward. And the headliners, Post Malone, Stevie Nicks, Noah Khan. As soon as I saw the headliners, I bought the tickets. It's just fun to see it live. It's always better than, than it is when you're listening to the recording. So, so I try to do that as much as I can. But it's what organizers first told festival goers they were not allowed to bring in that is making headlines. They told festival goers that water bottles were not allowed and everyone would have to buy water inside. They added that for those with emergencies, they can get water from the medical tents. But people worried about staying hydrated and the risk of heat exhaustion are calling this a disaster waiting to happen. I could see that just turning into a real health disaster. For one, a lot of people might be lined up trying to get their six ounces of water, uh, obscuring others who need more health care. Have a couple stations. It can't be that expensive. Just uh, provide a few water refilling stations. You could buy one bottle, refill it. After WCNC Charlotte started asking questions, organizers now making some changes and adding water stations at the festival, also letting people bring an empty cup with them, quenching the thirst of good news for some ticket holders. I just want water. That's all I want. I just need to be hydrated. Organizers say there will also be cooling stations at the festival. In Uptown, Jesse Pierre, WCNC Charlotte.